This tutorial explains how to create a unit object using the unit function of the grid package in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the vector of values that we can create with line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object is appearing, which is called myValues. And we can print this vector object to the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector object containing 10 vector elements ranging from the integer value one to the value 10. Now let's assume that we want to apply the unit function of the grid package. Then we also need to install and load the grid package as you can see in lines five and six of the code. I have installed this package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line six of the code. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the grid package, such as the unit function, as you can see in line eight of the code. And in this line of code, I'm specifying within the unit function, the name of our vector object. So in this case, our vector object is called my values. And then I'm specifying the type of unit that I want to use. So in this case, I want to use centimeters. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object, which is called my values unit. So if you run line eight of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called my values unit. And we can print this vector object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line nine of the code. And then you can see that we have added the centimeter metric to each value of our vector object. Now we can also check the class of our new vector object by applying the class function to our new data object, as you can see in line 11 of the code. And then you can see that our new data object has the unit class. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.